Well, in Wisconsin, a prime rib, a baked potato, and a good stiff cocktail can only mean one thing. You are dining at a supper club. Supper club culture remains a vital part of the Wisconsin dining scene. Madison Magazine Associate Editor Andy Bailing is here for our first Good Eats with Andy segment. Welcome. Yes, thank you. I'm what a great excited. place to start. Yes, supper club. It is a great right. place to start. How is a supper club defined? You know, it's changing right now, but traditionally um, it's defined as a place that you can go and it's it's about um, the relish tray and it's about the salad bar and it's about going to the bar and getting a old-fashioned sweet or a martini and finishing the the, the meal with a grasshopper um, it's a place that you feel familiar at and you, and you know that you're going to get really good quality food and it opens at, at like four o'clock right. there's no right. lunch no breakfast just supper just supper right yeah it's a uniquely Wisconsin thing it is yeah and going back to even 1933 with the end of prohibition is really when um, the first few liquor license given out were to those places on the edge of city limits and that's as so is the birth of the destination supper club where people you'd pack up your family go out for an evening and that was that that was what you did with your evening is spent it at the supper club we're looking at some pictures from this month's issue of Madison Magazine and these are pictures of supper clubs in our area. Dane County is pretty fertile ground. It is, yeah, in Madison and just an hour, hour and a half drive away. Um, definitely Smokies is one of those um, and even Ishnala which is in the Dells. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of places here and, and especially in Wisconsin in the state line. It's definitely a Wisconsin uh, thing is, is supper clubs but is. Traditionally they've they've been primarily in the Northwoods or that was that sort of the tradition but now they're all over the state right? Yes definitely yep and actually the first one um, came about in the 1920s um, by a Milwaukee native. Oh. Um, it was in California but he, he did hail from Milwaukee so that's interesting cool. and, yeah. and new ones open up I mean they're, they're not all old people think that it's a dying uh, <laughs> dying thing that, that there aren't any supper clubs anymore but it isn't necessarily true and they are changing they're handed down through generations and generations of families which is really cool too to see that tradition stay the same but also change in, in cool ways and you have some supper club staples right here the yes. signature is right here the signature yes the relish tray this is from Smokies um, and the relish tray here he, he, they also offer sides um, um, of the pickled beets. You gotta have pickled beets. Right, right. Um, and that's a, a family recipe that the Schmacks, uh, Schmack family, it's 60 years old. Um, and that, they also make the homemade cottage cheese. They do, yes. Yep, and that, they're both staples um, that kind of replaces the salad bar for Smokies. They don't have one of those, which some people say, if you don't have a salad bar, <laughs> it's not, not a supper club. But that's where that change comes in, where you kind of adapt to your, your audience. So. And they have a martini named after the news hounds. So right away, right. there's reason to go to smoke. Right. <laughs> so pick up this month's I issue of Madison Magazine for all the supper clubs well, in our area. Why don't you hold that up, Andy, yeah. so people can see the cover. It's the M list on the cover and read more about it, all about it. And thanks to our friends at Smokies for bringing the relish tray. That was very, very nice. Good eats, indeed. Good eats. We'll be right back. Thanks a lot, Andy. Yep.